Cat Country 107.3. It's Joe and Jana, and we have a, a, an edition of Joe and Jana like beer because we, we like, like beer. beer. I'm a little bit of a beer snob, I feel like, more than you are, Joe, but <laughs> you're learning. You're learning slowly. We have uh, the Haunted Hops and Ghoulish Grubs event coming up this weekend at River River Winds Community Center in West Deptford. So You've been nice there? there. I have. I've been to the restaurant. I've been to the community center for concerts. Awesome. It's so, it's so nice there, especially in the fall because everything's changing. It's just a really great time to get out there. Kathy Bullock is with us from the festival. Tell us what's happening. Oh, we're so excited. Year two it was so amazing last year. We're so excited to have it again. Um, this year, it's wonderful New Jersey breweries, right? The highlight of all eight great New Jersey breweries. 15 food trucks. Awesome. Wide variety of food, which is going to be amazing. Kids activities, moon bounces, hair wrap stuff. Crafters, amazing live band. It's a day of fun. And what day is what day is it? Oh, good question. Saturday, October 27th, 11 to 6 for the festival, 12 to 5 for the beer garden. Should be a lot of fun. Let's bring in Alexis Deegan. She's from the New, Jer New Jersey Brewery Association. Alexis, how many different uh, beers are we going to have here? Uh, so each brewery is bringing about uh, two different beers. Um, so there'll be 16 awesome. uh, beers on site from local New Jersey breweries. Most of them are, you know, very close to the festival area. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the great thing about this festival is that it's really featuring what New Jersey has to offer. Mm -hmm. You know, the beer scene in our state is really growing. It's doing a fantastic job. People just love being this close mm -hmm. to, you know, their beer, and and this kind of festival really highlights that. Why have local breweries exploded so much over the last few years? I think what you're seeing is um, consumers are more and more very passionate about being close to their products. Um, you see the local beer movement, you know, coming. Uh, CSAs, that sort of thing, and the, the breweries allow for people to talk to the, you know, to the people who are producing this beer. Mm -hmm. They see where it's coming from. You can take a tour. You can, you know, really talk about and explore all the different types of beers. Well, I agree. It's an experience, really. That's why I love going to breweries because it's it's a whole day. It's an experience, and then you get to actually sample your product afterwards. It's great. Right. Let's talk to two of the guys making the beer. Let's bring in uh, Matt and Tony from Hidden Sands Brewery. Good morning, Hi, guys. guys. Good morning. Where are you guys from? Where, where are you located? Well, on Washington Avenue, right here in Egg Harbor Township. Nice. So you're local guys. Yeah, 6754 Washington. Yeah. And how did you guys get started? Oh, that's a long story. <laughs> that is a long story. It so always we'll, is. Okay, so give, we'll give us that the, one today. <laughs> how long have you been in business? We've uh, we put four years of planning together, mm -hmm. and uh, we've had two years of construction. We're going to be open a year uh, in January. Oh awesome. wow! Congratulations! Yeah. Thank you. That's Thank amazing. You. Thank, you. Thank you. And what what has it been like? More than you imagined? Different than you imagined? Oh, absolutely both. <laughs> both. <laughs> both. More. Awesome. More. You guys are going to be at this uh, festival this weekend. Tell us about that. You're very excited to be there. Yes. Uh, we are actually going to be serving three beers at the festival: at our strawberry wheat, Ooh. a IPA. And our pilsner, oh, which, I'm excited. Uh, which which you know we're proud of. Right. Uh, we won an award for it at the uh, New Jersey uh, Convention Center last year. So uh, you know, you seem to know what you're doing. Uh, we have a great brewer. <laughs> we have a great brewer. <laughs> Matt and Tony are with, are with us from Eden Sands Brewery. Let's try some of the beer if we could. Sure. This strawberry wheat's been something that we put together uh, from our pump handle. Our pump handle is a honey wheat. We add a uh, strawberry to the parade to it to make the strawberry wheat. It's very popular this summer, so a very large, very large percent of our sales was this strawberry wheat. Guys, I like it. I love the strawberry wheat. If Joe, that's that's saying something. You're 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 sometimes starting to I'm, get picky. Sometimes that's we bring good. it, we bring in some beers, and I'm a little bit hesitant. Yeah. But I love the strawberry wheat from Hidden. You can taste it. You can really actually good. taste the strawberry, and it's not it's it's hoppy, yes, but it's not. A little bit. It's not bitter it's not the way some things. It's not can, yeah. No, not at all. It's great. The one thing we did at our brewery, we drilled a well 650 feet into the earth, wow. and we pull water up from the 800 foot sands aquifer, and that's what we craft all our beers with that water. Thus, the name Hidden Sands. Perfect. There you go. Yeah. So that Pilsner, it's uh, again back to our water uh, with a very clean water source. We have the Pilsner seems to be a very clean, very uh, nice body, uh, clean Pilsner. I mean, it's uh, it's a Keller Pils. It's a style. Um, we call it the 800 foot pills because the depth of the aquifer is 800 feet. It's interesting that you say clean. I don't know anything about beer or beer terms like Jana does, <laughs> but I would say I would use clean to describe this. It, it, it It's perfect. It's very smooth. I'm going to be full after this, guys. I'm not even going to need lunch. No. So this is the 107 IPA. This is, uh, you know, IPA is one of the most prominent styles of beer right now. Um, You forgot the point three. 107. 
I Sorry, guess. 7.3. 107.3. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Today <laughs> only. Um, the, one, the one thing we do different with our 107 IPA that a lot of breweries, or some breweries do, I guess, we actually harvest uh, pine needles from the New Jersey Pine Barrens. Really? Get out of here! And we add them in the boil to the... Uh, to the uh, this beer, so oh you can taste gosh. the pine and the finish. Talk about local. So when you say That's local awesome. brewery, you guys mean it? Lit yeah. in every aspect of the word. Yeah, we do. They harvested the pine needles for the last batch we did. It took them two hours to get the needles. So, wow. I think it tastes great, guys. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for sharing with us. You're welcome. Thank you. Hidden, Hidden Sands Brewery. They're going to be at the Haunted Hops and Ghoulish Grubs this weekend at River Winds Community Center in West Edford. Kathy, let's bring you back in. Oh, sure. Just a reminder when and where and all that. Absolutely. This Saturday, October 27th, 11 to 6 for the festival, 12 to 5 for the beer garden, 15 food trucks we didn't talk about, but check out the website, mm -hmm. NewJerseyCraftBeerEvents.com, all spelled out. Take a look. They're amazing food trucks. We're super excited about the list of all the different trucks and kids' activities. Anyone under the age of 12 is free. Um, and anybody between 12 and 20 is $5 and it's $7 or get your souvenir glass and it's 12. So it's going to be great. We're looking forward to this Saturday. Thanks for joining us on Cat Country. Thank you.